Hello, and welcome to BigBookCTK.com. My name is Tulsi, and today I'm reading from King Lear by William Shakespeare. Act 1, Scene 5. Court before the Duke of Albany's Palace. Enter Lear, Kent, and Fall. Lear, go you before to Gloucester with these letters. Acquaint my daughter no further with anything you know than comes from her demand after the latter. If your diligence be not speedy, I shall be there afore you. Kent, I will not sleep, my lord, till I have delivered your letter. Exit. Four. If a man's brains were in his heel, weren't, weren't not in danger of kites? Leah. I, boy. Four. Then I prithee be merry. Thy wit shall ne'er go slipshod. Leah, ha, ha, ha. Four, shall see thy other daughter will use thee kindly, for though she is as light this as a crab like an apple, yet I can tell what I can tell. What canst tell? Leah, what canst tell, boy? Four, shall taste as light this as a crab does to a crab. Thou canst tell why one's nearly stands in the middle of one's face. Leah, no. Four. Why? To keep one's eyes of either side's nose. That what? A man cannot smell out. I may slip into. Leah, I did her wrong. Four. Can tell how an oyster makes a shell? Leah. No. Four. Nor I neither. But I can tell why a snail has a house. Leah. Why? Four. Why? To put its head in. Not to give it away to his daughters and leave his horns without a cave. Leah, I'll forget my nature. So kind of father. Be my horses ready? Four, thy asses are gone about him. The reason why the seven stars are no more than seven is a pretty reason. Leah, because they're not eight? Four, yes indeed. That would make a good four. Leah, to take again per four. Monster ingratitude. Four, if thou wert my four, uncle. I'd have to beat him for being old before thy time. Leah, how's that? Four, thou shalt not have been old till thou hast been wise. Leah, oh, let me not be mad, not mad, sweet heaven. Keep me in temper, I would not be mad. Enter a gentleman. How now, are the horses ready? Gentlemen, ready, my lord. Leah, come, boy. Four. She that the maid now, and last at my departure, shall not be a maid long, unless things be cut shorter. Exeunt. Act 2, Scene 1. A court within the castle of the Earl of Gloucester. Enter. Edmund the Bastard, and Curan meeting. Edmund, save thee, Curan. Curan, and you, sir, I have been with your father, and given, given him notice that the Duke of Cornwall and Regan, his Duchess, will be here with him this night. Edmund, how comes that? Curran, nay, I know not. You have heard of the news aboard? I mean the whispered ones, for they are not yet but ear-kissing arguments. Edmund, not I. Pray you, what are they? Curran, have you heard of no likely wars toward twixt the two Dukes of Cornwall and Albany? Edmund, not a word. You may you may do it then in time. Fare you well, sir. Exit. Edmund. The Duke be here tonight? The better. Death. This weaves itself perforce into my business. My father hath set guard to take my brother, and I have one thing of a queasy question which I must act. Briefness and fortune work. Brother, a word. Descend. Brother, I say. Thank you very much for watching. You've been listening to King Lear by William Shakespeare. My name is Tulsi and this is BigBookCTK.com. Thank you very much and bye for now.